Hey everyone, Sam here and welcome back to day two of our mobile home roof over project. We are taking our 1988 Palm Harbor single eye mobile home and putting a roof on it to give ourselves overhangs, eaves, and gutters where we had none to begin with. Before we jump into today's video and today's work, let's go ahead and do that disclaimer again. I am not a professional roofologist. I didn't graduate from the University of Roofology or I'm not a mobile home technician specialist 2.0. I'm just a dude putting a roof on his home, where he is, where he's at, who feels comfortable doing that with my stuff. This is not meant to be how-to, this is not meant to be a guide, and I'm not responsible if you're dumb enough like me to do this to your house. That out of the way, let's go. Back up here on the roof, what I'm going to do is go ahead and measure for at least the next one, if not two, plywood sheathings. Holler the measurements down to Josh, and he's going to cut them up down there and throw them on the roof. Well, hand them up on the roof. I saved my He-Man strength for something more important. Yeah. yeah. We could we could throw plywood all day, but you don't want to waste that energy. Ninety-four and three quarters. While Josh is down there cutting the plywood, I went ahead and took my big T-square and marked the location of the rafters on the top at the ridge. That'll help us eyeball and line up the nails or location of the trusses to nail it down easier. Oh yeah, it's a little bit both. Are you ready? Stop and measure. Glad that you're doing this. Sounds weird. But. 95 and a quarter. What do you mean? Like this whole project? Yeah. How so? Well, I don't want to sound bad, but I thought you got two big C pants here. Like, I'm going to pay. And I'm like, we don't pay. <laughs> we don't pay. We ain't talking about paying for it, man. Pay is when I'm like, I can't do this. Some, just... some things you have to pay to pay for. But... I'll throw plywood up here. You just gotta nail it down, man. We, we can do it. Hey, that's fun. <laughs> I was just yesterday when I was up here, just me and Angela, I'm like, no, I can't do I it. No, I wouldn't. I couldn't have done it solo. solo. If the other one's not eight, haul it down. Forty-eight and a half. Alright, the next one's gonna be 
All right, all the decking is done. We cut two little strips to fill in the worst gaps down there. And we are ready to start putting down the underlayment. What we're going to do is measure up from the edge of the roof three feet, put a couple of marks here and there, snap a chalk line, and that's gonna be the top edge of the underlayment. The roll I got is four feet wide, so it's gonna give us a foot overhang, plenty to wrap around the plywood, or wrap around the fascia boards as we go along and Keep everything nice and dry as this project takes shape over the next millennia or two. So, Josh has got the hammer. He's tacking down any kind of nail heads that aren't fully seated. I'm going to start marking marks. <laughs> that threw me off. <laughs> I'm going to start marking marks and uh, we'll snap a line and we'll get this thing done. We'll get closer to getting it done. Looking really good. We have got, well, everything but the top edge of the second row done. We're gonna do it, do the last one, and we are done for this part of the project up here. Yeah!
two rows down guys ready to rock and roll we'll get this last one done it'll overlap the peak of the house we'll button it down make it weather tight and we are at a good stopping point <laughs> Hold well, the You guys don't see what's going on? Here, let me show you what's going on. We're overlapping the underlayment over the ridge and taping it down with flashing tape. That is what's going on. You've totally got to keep that clip if I was in it. I about bet it. I'm looking, trying to look up at the camera and I go, <laughs> Daisy, Daisy. Yep, I'm going backwards. I'm going backwards. Well guys, we got a ton of work done today and this feels wonderful to have it done. Our home is officially dried back in. We don't have to worry about rains or storms hitting and worry that ugh, we're gonna be having some internal water features of our house. This underlayment is called TriFlex XT, I believe. Yes, that's what the stickers and text says. This underlayment is warrantied for six months, open to the elements, waterproof, you're good to go -ness. So, I have six months of warranty, should it take me that long to finish this roof. I hope to goodness it doesn't take me even one month to finish this. But, you never know what life's going to throw at you. As you saw, we took the underlayment and we wrapped it over top of the ridge of the house and we used some four inch wide flashing tape. It's pretty much um, aluminum on one side and tar on the other. Super sticky, super good stuff. And we attached the underlayment to the roof on the other side of the house. Our intention with this is to keep this roof dry like it has been. 
and to prevent any water from blowing this way up over the ridge and down through the plywood and really just negating all the work we did to lay the underlayment down and keep the water out. I don't have any worries even if we get some pretty good storms I don't think that tape is going to blow up or go anywhere at all. If it does that rain would still have to make about a foot, a foot and a half before it reaches the peak and go down the other side and honestly I don't have that worry or concern. Um, I also don't plan on this staying like this for as long as I can help it. Hopefully we're going to continue to rock and roll on with this project and keep on keeping on and get the other side done and decked out and underlayment within the next week max, hopefully, if everything goes smoothly, the weather cooperates, and everybody's schedule lines up too. I can't say enough about the Stinger system, the little cap hammer stapler thing that we put all the underlayment down with for $45. Wow, what a deal. It worked perfectly. There was a couple of hiccups here and there, but overall, no issues at all. Great, easy to use, really good system. I uh, just can't say enough about it. If you're doing this project, a roof, or if you're going to do house wrapping on a structure and you're looking at cap nails or cap staples or a pneumatic stapler, um, consider the Stinger one. It's really nice and it's affordable and you don't need any electricity or any other tools to run it. And I have been really pleased with it. So very happy that I got it and it will be around for a very long time because we have a lot of ideas in the future and we might going to use it then too. Well everyone, hopefully you enjoyed work day number two here at the Roof Over Project. We got a ton done and it is nice and weather tight and we have our overhang and it's great already. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this part. We really appreciate you all watching and supporting us through your views and clicks, especially our members here that are supporting members. Thank you so much. You guys are really helping to directly support our channel and keep everything rocking and rolling here on YouTube land. We really appreciate it. Otherwise, leave us a comment down below. Tell us what you think. Give us your questions. We'll try and get back to them, direct reply, or we may include it in a video as well. There's been a lot of really good comments and questions that I am saving because there will be videos addressing those comments. So, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that bell. If you're not a member, check out the join button down below. Give it a thought. You don't have to. You're not going to miss out on anything super awesome major. Obviously, you're seeing this. But if you're able to, it would be cool to check it out and see what you think. Alrighty, time for me to get off off this roof. We'll see you guys next time on the homestead.